again for another update in the Countdown to Blood in the Sun series that I've got going. So today, uh, what I'm going to show you is some of my progress in building direwolves. Um, if you listen to the last episode of the podcast, you hear that we were talking all about chaff units. And because, you know, we sort of talked about all the good uses for it, I decided to add in some more units of chaff to my vampire counts army in the form of direwolves. So I had been running around with one unit of five and I've upgraded it now to three units of five which means I got ten more to do and I spent most of the morning assembling those ten models and now I'm working on basing them. And uh, one product I've talked a lot about on the show is uh, Vallejo white pumice or very similar product is black lava. Um, color is a little different. The sort of the grains, uh, the size of the grains of sand within are slightly different. I think it's a little smaller on the white pumice, but th it's hardly noticeable. So I've used both throughout my army and I really, really can't recommend this product enough. So I'm going to show you uh, how to use it, and what it sort of looks like. So I've got a model here. You'll see this is one of the new Fenrisian uh, wolves from the Space Wolf 40k army and I am using these as the champions, the Doom Wolves in my three units. I took a champion with each unit and so I've got the old Dire Wolves, um, just the basic wolf model that I think has been around since 1992 with the metal heads that they, they came with. Um, I kind of like them even though they're old, they're simple, they're easy to paint and uh, so I've got 12 of those and then I built three of these new wolves to, to serve as the unit champions which I think is nice because they really stand out. So what I'm going to do is apply the white pumice to the base and to do that I'm just using an old uh, beat up brush, a real cheap that you can get at the, uh, the hobby store. This is a quarter inch flat brush and what I do is simply wet the brush a little bit, dip it into the white pumice, and start painting it on to the base. And you can do that um, pretty sloppily, and you can get quite a bit on the brush at a time as you just want to kind of glob it on and then spread it around. So you can see I've picked up quite a bit. Just move this off to the side. And now I'm going to start painting it on. And one thing that's really nice about this process is that you can see on this base there's a there's a gap there um, it's a cavalry base but these guys don't have the slot uh, they just glue on actually one leg and um, when you pick up enough of the goop it's really easy to cover up gaps like that on your base so I'm just gonna keep picking up a whole bunch of it on my brush putting it down and slathering it around the drying time on this is uh, pretty quick, uh, say about an hour, and uh, it depends though on how thick you want to go with it. Um, you can build this up quite a bit, you'd have to do several layers where you let it dry and then do another second, third, fourth application, but you could bu build it up quite nicely, you could make different effects, um, covers the base really easily. I, I do greatly prefer this to using just the sand and PVA glue method. Uh, part of the reason is that the the grains of sand are really big which is out of scale for the size of the models. You wouldn't be able to see if that was real dirt or sand or whatever your basic material is. You wouldn't be able to see those grains so clearly. Uh, they're too big. Um, so I do like this a little bit better for scale. Also I find it easier to use. Um, it doesn't come off sometimes with the uh, the regular sand and the PVA glue you'll find that it, it flakes off over time. This when it dries it, it's solid. Um, you have more control over where you're putting it and uh, sometimes if you like to add extra bits to your base like a, a broken sword or shield something like that this stuff is really easy to use as it while it's still wet after you paint it on just put a little glue on the bottom of your bit and press it into the white pumice or black lava whichever one you're using and it it stays in there it looks more natural so really like this stuff um, 
you'll see it takes uh, you know a minute or two to get it to fully cover the base but it's really not a very difficult process and I think uh, you know easy to paint up really really prefer this as I was saying to the regular sand and PVA glue so I'm working on my dire wolves today and I'm still painting uh, the black knights and as I mentioned in the last update I did get a game in against my buddy Jeff um, although I was a little misinformed when I shot the video I thought he was going to be using his new empire but in fact he used the high elves so I played against high elf list, list uh, it was a real good game I had a lot of fun came out to be a draw about I don't know 70 or 80 points in his favor so I'm you know <laughs> I'm not disappointed with that result <laughs> I didn't lose uh, which is good I'm gonna get another practice game in today against uh, John Skaven and uh, we'll see how that matchup goes Skaven is pretty tough but he's got uh, a toned down list he made it using the ETC comp restrictions so we'll see how that goes hopefully I'll have good things to report so uh, there you have it finished base for my doom wolf I'm gonna keep basing these guys let them dry for a little bit prime them and get to painting so uh, thanks for watching and take care